News. Stephanie, you've written about Mr. Manafort and his relationships with the Russians and perhaps the Ukrainian organization related to the Russians. Tell us what you know about what was being investigated about Mr. Manafort. Well, we know that Manafort was under investigation for possible violations of money laundering laws, uh, foreign lobbying disclosure rules, uh, as well as possible tax violations. Um, now, and we also know that U.S. authorities had made requests to authorities in Cyprus for banking records related to companies that Manafort and Gates had set up. So it, th those are, those, those are the, the, the areas that we know that they're looking at. Um, we don't know the specific charges as of yet, but I have gone through accounts related to uh, Manafort uh, uh, in Cyprus, and there are millions of dollars of transfers from those companies in the form of loans to uh, Manafort companies in the United States, and I suspect that may be part of what they are looking at. And Stephanie, do we have any sense of what those monies might have been used for in the United States? Why were these entities, perhaps in Russia, funneling money through Mr. Manafort in Cyprus? Well, the entities in Cyprus, it's unclear where some of the money came from. Um, some of the money came from uh, Russian billionaire Oleg Der Deripaska. Some of, of that was for a failed private equity deal, which I've reported on. Um, the rest of the funds, it's unclear where, you know, what that was for. Um, you know, the way it was structured uh, as loans may be something that they're looking at, whether or not that was a legitimate loan. It's unclear from the accounts and the records whether or not those loans were repaid. Uh, we know that the company that uh, the funds were transferred to uh, in Delaware, owned by uh, Manafort, that that company was involved in U.S. real estate purchases. Uh, it's all a bit murky. We do know that Cyprus authorities have not responded to the request for banking records, um, so there's still probably a, a great deal of information that uh, U.S. investigators don't have. So, Stephanie, as you say, it's murky, and it's terribly important that we not get ahead of ourselves about what we know and what we don't know. At this point, do we have any reason to believe that any money that came through Cyprus, that came through Mr. Manafort, might have been used in the presidential campaign either before Mr. Manafort was campaign manager or while he was? Uh, no, there's no indication of that. In fact, the, the money that, that uh, I have uh, identified uh, dates back to uh, a period of 2009 to 2013, um, so well before uh, the presidential election. And I will say this, that when I approached Deripaska's spokeswoman uh, about some of those transfers, she said that the money, that, that the figures that I had were inaccurate, but didn't comment further. Um, so there, there are question marks about Paul Manafort's relationship with Oleg Deripaska, for sure, um, that are unanswered. Um, yeah, question marks about where some of the other money was coming from. Some of it, um, you know, Manafort has said it came uh, as a result of legitimate political consulting work that he did in Ukraine. Why it was transferred through Cyprus through multiple layers of shell companies remains unclear.